Spurs will probably pull up to their own downfall with a few individual errors, but there was uh, some fantastic performances from Liverpool tonight individually. That's the question, isn't it? The guys weren't impressed with the way that Tottenham played this evening. They were questioning Jose's formation at the end, but can he legislate for those errors? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a formation problem, personally. I think um, when you go into a game of this magnitude, um, with aspirations of still trying to want to be a part of the conversation when you're talking about the title, against a Liverpool seed, uh, team that's apparently struggling and got defensive problems, they just didn't turn up. Um, three shockers, three mm. absolute shockers in a game like that. Um, you just can't afford, you can't really afford one. And they had three big mistakes that have cost them today in the game. And that's pretty much the kind of story for Spurs. Unlike last night, Rio is the independent observer in here this evening. Um, what did you make of it from, from both the Liverpool and the Spurs perspective? I think Liverpool, definitely they needed this, this result. I think everybody's been on their case. Um, is their season over in terms of challenging? I think they've answered that emphatically tonight. Yes, they were given some gifts tonight, but you've got to be there to take them. And they punished this, uh, this Spurs team. And Liverpool are going to be there or thereabouts. When you've got a strike force like this, yes, they've had a bit of a blip in form, a little mm -hmm. downturn in, in form in front of goal. But these guys are seasoned that knowing how to be around the top of the Premier League. And um, they're going to be a force. I think, listen, yeah, they're missing main cogs in the, in the back line. That's an issue. But when you've got these type of strikers that, that, that may gain confidence again from this, you're always going to be in with a chance in every 90 minutes you go out there. And from, from what you've seen recently, and it has been a tricky spell for them, mm -hmm. and they've answered some of their critics this evening, do you, do you still believe that this is a team that can push Manchester City, Manchester United, mm -hmm. anyone else for the title still? Yeah, I believed it when they were still going through this bad, bad spell. I had a little bet with Rio last night. I still think they'll finish above United. I think they're still in the title hunt. Um, they've got some top players. I thought Henderson dropping into to centre back tonight was was fantastic. And yeah, it's going to be a struggle at times because you know Nat Phillips had to come on. I'm not sure what happened with with Matip. They're mm. they're definitely struggling in that area. But when you've got the attacking talent they have on display, you cannot write them off. I think Jermaine's still scratching his head about what happened at the back tonight for Tottenham. We started talking about the Liverpool defence, didn't we? And we end talking about what Tottenham did under Arnold with Des. Trent, did you need that? It's been a rocky road lately, but it was an emphatic, a positive performance and result. Yeah, definitely. It's what we needed. Um, it's what we deserved as well. I think uh, we dominated most of the game. Obviously, they had the early goal disallowed. Uh, probably would have changed the, the way that the game went on, but we've uh, come here with the game plan, we've executed it perfectly. Um, a little bit tough when they scored, but at the end of the day, I think we deserved the three points and yeah, we go away with them. Definitely, a big turning point just before half time, that lifted everybody, changes the team talk. Yeah, of course. Um, it, it goals, it goals, it goals in games like this really change the, the way that um, the opposition play. They've had to come out a bit more second half. We've we found the space in the first half really as well, but more so in the second half. Um, we've had our chances and we've, we've put a few away. Yeah, and you came out firing at the start of the second half, despite the, you know, Joel Matip coming out as well. Helped yourself to a goal, of course. <laughs> it doesn't always always feels good. Yeah, um, yeah, we've had setback after setback, especially um, in the centre back area. But um, he's done an amazing job first half, and then that's come on second half and done an unbelievable job again. Um, just goes to show that the, 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 the quality that we've got all around the pitch. Um, yeah, it's always good to, to get a goal and help help with the win. So what's changed? I mean, you, you've been struggling for the last couple of weeks. But it's all clicked today. What's happened? Uh, nothing's really changed. I think. We're the same team as, as we always have been. We have the same mentality going into games. We respect the opposition. Um, and really, we're going into games and we, we, we have that expectation on ourselves that we should be winning them. Um, that happened today. We were really up for the game. Um, everyone was at it. No one really put too much of a foot wrong. And it was just a, a whole performance from the, from the lads. Unbelievable game. Um, and it's always, it's always good to get the three points as well. Yeah. And good to see him performing in a way that we've become used to over the past few seasons. Here's a good one for you. 93 attempts on goal from Liverpool without scoring until they started getting the goals this evening. What's the right way for us to look at this? Do we look at it from a Liverpool perspective or do you want to look at it from a defensive errors side for Tottenham? What do you I think? I think both. I think Liverpool would have to be delighted with that. Given the run that they've been on, they, they take a win anyhow. And capitalised on some big mistakes. And I think Jose, I think, will be absolutely livid with the way that Eastside defended individual errors from experienced players as well, the goalkeeper, the captain. Um, but even here, you can see, I think, Ore is playing right back. Rodon gets attracted to the man in front, Milner, and that leaves that space. I think Ore has to follow that 
the run from Mane, he's marking him, goes to sleep. I think that fight happens far too often with Aurier, and then they're punished. Yeah, I mean, it's just um, indecisive play defensively, people not taking responsibility. I mean, you've been playing against Liverpool for years now. Mane's been doing the same thing for years, and Salah does the same thing on the other side. So you know he wants to get in behind, and you know you still kind of get suckered into that. This was the poorest goal of the lot, I would say. I know Rodon's is a big mistake, but that from a world-class goalkeeper is world-class. I think you're doing him a favour. Yeah, well, yeah. well, he's won the World Cup, and you know, with, with his with his French national team, he's a captain of France. He's a captain of uh, of Spurs, and I think when he was at his best, he was up there. He, he's had he's had a good season, Hugo. Right? You know, I've been one of his biggest critics when it comes to his performances over the uh, last past year, but he's had a really bad night tonight, and he'll know that. Mm. Even if he doesn't push it. If he doesn't catch it, he's got to push it around the post. Yeah. Yeah, straight to Trent and on his right foot. It's a great finish. Rodon's got to just clear that with his left foot. This comes down to repetition. Defend. I, I worry with young defenders nowadays. Are they doing enough defending these type of situations in training? Defensively, they're, they're shockers, aren't they? These. Yeah, they, are, they, right? they could all be avoided. It's just individual errors, and I think that one there is concentration. Sort your feet up, clear it with your left foot straight away back to where it came from. That it's wasn't not the difficult. first time either, you know, Mane had chances, he, yeah. missed, a, he missed a sitter in the first half, there was, uh, was some got, big chances in there. You actually made two or three good saves in the first half, that, you know, I think Mar the ones that Mane had, they were in a quite, quite close range yeah. to, to Hugh Gallery to make those saves, and he, mm. but then obviously that one seemed, that error that he's made seemed to have just lost his confidence in the game. It's going to be very interesting what Jose has to say when he emerges, in fact Jurgen Klopp has already come out and he's with Des now, so let's get his thoughts on this Liverpool victory. Jürgen, how important is that win after a tough month? I mean, you must be delighted with that performance. Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> it was a great game, super intense, how I said, or, or estimated before the game that it will be. Um, we scored the goals in the right moment, scored wonderful goals. The right people scored the goals, if you want, and um, so all good apart from, obviously, Jürgen tip had to go off. We'll come back to Joe, of course, but do you feel like that's a real return to form? We can see you chasing, hunting what I, down. What I, what, yeah, what I saw today was, it's not about shape or form, actually. It's like, um, who we are. So, and that's us. Today's respect, second half, especially, that was us. It was a massive fight. Um, and, and football, obviously, on top of that. I don't know the numbers, but I think, the, 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 apart from a few minutes in the first half, uh, I, I don't remember they had a lot of the ball, but it um, was always pretty quick and counter-attacking and we defended it really well. Um, but it was just a, uh, a good performance and I uh, saw a lot of things I wanted to see, yes. Goal right on half-time, I mean, you must have felt it was coming because you, you had taken control as the first half went on. You cannot, you cannot really um, be sure that uh, something like this will happen in the second half again because um, they they changed. I think they, they they made two changes, so you never know exactly uh, the way offensively the way we played. I I, I really thought um, we, we we coped really well with uh, with their formation, played around, played in played in between, so we were so often in and around the box, um, which is really important. Counter press was really good. Um, both half times the last line defended really well, high enough, but not crazy high. And yeah, no, it was not. Didn't see it coming, but I was not negative about the second half. That's true. And you've met. It's who we are. That's a very telling line, isn't it, from Jurgen Klopp? And look, now it is about a response to this victory. They've got West Ham, they've got Leicester, they've got Manchester City, three of the next four games. They have to keep on delivering. Yeah, huge games that are going to define their season, I think. But uh, when you look at the, the way the game panned out today, you know, Trent looked back on form. Firmino needed a goal and, and he needed a performance. And I think we got that tonight. OK. Maybe that crate of wine is just edged slightly closer to Peter Crouch's house than Rio Ferdinand's house this evening. Never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be ever the optimist, though, because we're used to that. Um, just to let you know that straight after the break, you can see Premier League tonight. You can get involved in the programme. We want to hear from you. Um, we'll answer your questions. We'll have a bit of a debate. We'll also hear from Jose Mourinho, of course. We're live at 11 o'clock. Premier League tonight comes next. Stay where you are to hear from the Spurs boss.